In this video, we shall solve a numerical on potential field. Let us see the problem. Given the potential field V equal to 50 X square Y Z plus 20 Y square volts in free space, find the potential at a point P of 1, 2, minus 3. That means uh, the potential field is given. So we have to find voltage or potential at a particular point within the field. So this equation V represents or defines potential at every point in the field. So using which we can find potential at one point just by substituting the coordinates of the point P into the equation V, we can find the voltage. And later it is required to find the field strength at the point P. Field strength means its electric field intensity. Magnitude of the electric field intensity gives us the field strength. You can find that one. And also find unit vector A cap R at point P. So A cap R represents the direction of electric field at point P. So let us go to solution. The solution of the problem. Note down the given things first. V is given 50 x square y z plus 20 y square. And the space is given as free space. So epsilon can be taken as epsilon naught. So you have to find the voltage at point P. So that means at point P, that is one, two and minus three, we have to find the voltage that is V. At particular point P, we can call it as VP, let us say. It is given by 50 x square y z. So, so we can substitute the coordinates of this point into that voltage field equation. So here x value is 1, y value 2, and z value is minus 3. So 50 x square means 1 square, y means 2, z is minus 3 plus 20 y square that is 2 square. So in the potential field equation we have substituted the values of x y z of given point. So this equation will give some results. So 50 200 minus 300 here plus 4 g 2 80 that is equal to minus 220 volts so we have found the potential at given point now we shall go to the next step that is the field strength at a particular point P. We have the, we want the field strength E. E is given by the gradient of potential. Del V. negative gradient of potential. And the problem is in Cartesian coordinate system. So we can use the expansion formula that is dou V by dou X A cap X minus dou V by dou Y 
है क्या कोई माइनस डो वी बाई डो जेड एक पार्शियल डेरेवेटिव विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वाई जेड विल गिव अस द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड so we have to substitute for v in all the three components then they have to be differentiated so if you proceed in this direction we have do by do x of v so v is 50 x square y z plus 20 y square a cap x here this equation represents potential field potential is a scalar there is no x or y component like that complete equation represent the potential and to find the electric field we have to use potential field we should not use this 220 volts to calculate e Because two twenty volts represent potential at one point, but we want electric field, not electric field at one point. So, for the y component, we'll be having the same equation: x square y z plus twenty y square a cap y. now the z component of the field is given by 50 x square y z plus 20 y square a cap z so we have substituted for v in the equation of e let us differentiate it the first one so minus is common for all of the things so here minus is taken out and kept outside now we shall differentiate each component with respect to its variable in the first one it is with respect to x so if we differentiate here we are going to get 50 differentiation of x square is 2x y and z are constant in the second term there is no x term so its differentiation is zero a cap x plus into minus minus in the second term we have to differentiate with respect to y so here is y differentiation of y is 1 so we are left with 50 x square z plus differentiation of y square is 2y so 40y similarly the last component we have to differentiate with respect to z so 50 constant x square y also constant differentiation of z is 1 no z in the second term so it is 0 and we get a cap z finally we get minus 100 into x y z a x cap Here we get uh, minus fifty x square z plus forty y a y cap. Lastly, fifty x square y a z cap. So this is the electric field. calculated from the given potential field
yes so in the next step let us see what is required now see the potential the field strength at point p the field strength is okay but at a particular point p is required so point p is 1 2 minus 3 now we shall find e at point 1 2 minus 3 so we shall substitute the coordinates of p into this equation where x is 1 y is 2 z is minus 3 now if you proceed minus 100 into x value 1 y value 2 z value minus 3 ax cap similarly here 50 x value 1 z value minus 3 plus 40 y value is 2 ay cap minus 50 x value once again 1 and y value 2 a cap z so if we simplify here 3 2 z, 6 minus into minus plus z. so you are going to have 600 a x cap similarly here it is 150 it is 150 this value is minus 150 and this value is 80 so minus 150 80 50 goes is going to get 70 so it's going to be minus 7 0 away cap the last this minus negative value 15 to 2 is 100 a z cap this is our e at the point p we can designate this as ep if you want it is left to you anyhow this is going to be the potential at given point that is p of 1 2 minus 3 so here there are two field equations electric field equations one is given by this and second one is this one here the electric field is described in terms of xyz the variables so this is the field which define electric field strength at every point within the field but here this is the field at a particular point one to minus 3. It is obtained by substituting this xyz values 1, 2, minus 3 into this equation. x is 1, y is 2, minus 3. Here also 1 square minus 3 and y value 2 and z also same way. And you worked out here it is minus 150, 70, minus 70, minus into minus 4. We should get here plus minus into minus. It is plus. 70 volts per minute. so this is the potential at a particular point since the question asks to find the field strength at the point p we shall find the magnitude of electric field which is given by 600 square 70 square plus 100 square so minus square is plus if you work out for this one the calculator you are going to get 612.3 volts this is the field strength at the point p so it is also asked in the problem to find 
unit vector that is a cap r at point b they specifically mention at point b so that's why we can find a unit vector by dividing the electric field by its magnitude. So here, the electric field is 600 X component, 70 the Y component and minus 100 the Z component divided by 612.3 the magnitude. So by dividing each component by the magnitude we get the XYZ component as 0.98 AX cap plus 0.114 AY cap minus 0.163 AZ cap. So this is the unit vector in the direction of electric field. So that is the solution for this particular problem.